Hi everybody, Stephanie here. Um, I was doing some mold maintenance today on a dreary Thursday afternoon, and I thought maybe I'd shoot a quick video on how I clean my molds of boron nitride, uh, in case you were wondering how to handle your zip coatings or whatever spray you use. This is a Color de Ver 2012 pillow pendants mold. And I'm lazy. I don't spray it every time I use it. And sometimes when it gets scuffs, I just spray over it and use it again. And that's really not how you're supposed to do these things. So I'm going to throw on a mask and show you how I use a scrub brush. This one just happens to be a Pampered Chef. Uh, I don't ordinarily support Pampered Chef, but a friend was holding a party and it's the perfect size. So all you really need is a mold that needs cleaned and a small scrub brush, which you can pick up probably at the dollar store. Amazon, your local store, just something small. This one, it's, you could probably use a toothbrush. This is roughly toothbrush sized. So let me throw on the mask. I'm gonna be a little bit muffled, but it's been two years with masks. I think we're all used to it by now. So you, I don't know if you can see real well in here, but I've got scratch lines where I have dug into the glass, or dug into the mold right there, into the surface of the mold uh, while pulling out my pendants. So this one's really got to be cleaned off and redone so nothing sticks because these are expensive molds. I love them dearly. I don't want to have to order more, even if they do ship like overnight because Color of Air is in Portland well as well. So what I do is I just use the, mold, use the scratcher or the, the brush and in kind of a circular motion, go through and clean out the bottom. Pay attention to the bit above. If you're using a pendant mold, pay attention to the bit above the pen or the where the hole is because that's really easy to overlook because it's tight and then I go around the edges sometimes I go like this and use the narrow edge because then you can uh, scrub back and forth more evenly because when you go like this sometimes the corners don't always get as much of a scrub so you can see it doesn't press as hard into the corners so I hold it vertically and just scrub. And you can see all this powder is uh, in it is exactly what is the boron nitride that needs to come up. And it's kind of difficult to tell. I don't know how well it'll show on camera, but these are still white. This one is turning to a slightly off-white sort of cream color as the color de ver, or not the color de ver, as the zip gets taken off. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot left because it's not scratching up. See? And the the pillow pendant here is pretty much clear. That is how you know you've got it all. Um, and that is pretty much how I clean my molds. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll do one more. This one is small and quick. But, yeah, I mean, at this point, you've got it. You don't need to keep watching me clean a whole mold. Unless you're into some mold cleaning ASMR, which maybe I should do some. But yeah, see, I just scrub. See all that dust that's in there? I dump it to one side. Because my kiln, or my, my kiln, my shop is a mess. And I'll vacuum it up later, because I'm going to do a bunch of these today. It doesn't make any sense to vacuum in between molds. But now that there, I'm going to lift up the mask just a sec. See, I blue, and these are both cream, and these three are still white. So, there you go. That is how I clean my molds of Zip, or Boron Nitride Spray, or if you're old school, MR97. Um, and maybe this will be useful to you.